What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a video on something that a lot of people have trouble with and if you don't have trouble with it, this video may still help you a little bit. So on one of my videos, someone asked how do I keep contact with the ball after jumping when I do a delayed flick? So I figured I'd make a video on it because it's a lot easier to explain it through a video than explain it through a comment. So for those of you who don't know what a delayed flick is, it's basically you jump and then you delay your flip a little bit and it can get a lot more power and it can confuse the opponent a little bit. So instead of just doing the basic flick where you just flick right away instantly, you just delay it by maybe half a second or so and it is more effective than a normal flick. But a lot of people struggle with keeping the ball on their car for that half second to get the delayed flick and I definitely struggled a lot with it too. So that's mainly what I'm going to be talking about, just how to get the ball to stick to your car more when you're performing a delayed flick. So I'm going to be giving you some tips and some things you could be doing wrong when you're trying this and this is mainly muscle memory so if you can't get it down right away just keep trying it will take a while to learn how to consistently do this if you don't know how to do it already and this should be obvious but I'm gonna mention it anyway you gotta know how to dribble you need to have the mechanical skill to keep the ball on top of your car before you try doing this so the first big tip I have is holding down your jump button if you just tap your jump button your car doesn't go nearly as high so if you just tap the jump button the ball will most likely go much higher than your car and you'll lose control of it But when you hold your jump button down, your car goes much higher along with the ball. So this way it's a lot easier to make contact with the ball when you're doing your delayed flick. So if you are just tapping the jump button, that could be a big reason you're not getting the flick. So go around in free play or custom training and practice dribbling the ball and then holding your jump button. You really want to get used to holding it rather than tapping it. So the next reason the ball might not be sticking to your car is because you have it on the wrong part of your car. You'll usually mess up the flick if the ball is too far forward on the car or too far towards the back of the car. So you want the ball to be right around the windshield area of the car when you're doing a normal delayed flick. This along with holding your jump button will give you the greatest chance of the ball sticking to your car. Maybe you're doing both of these things right but the ball is still getting away from your car when you try a delayed flick. In this case you should probably just uninstall the game because obviously you're just not good enough to do this. Yo chill 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 jeez. It was just a joke. So if you're doing both of these things and you're still losing control of the ball, you could be not matching your car speed to the ball speed. I remember when I was learning how to do this, I was like 100% sure I was doing every single thing right. But it turns out this was the one thing that was making me actually lose control of the ball. So in this clip right here, you can see that the ball was on my windshield and I did hold jump, but I still lost control of the ball. And in this scenario, that's just because my car was moving faster than the ball. So you want to make sure you match your car speed exactly the same as the ball speed before you even do your first jump. So those are some of the things to know before you do the actual flick, just how to get a proper setup to get the ball to stick to your car and stuff. So now I'm going to talk about when you're in this position what you should do. So to get in this position all you do is just jump, you don't lean your car forward at all because when you jump with the ball in your car, your car naturally leans forward a little bit. So once you jump it's pretty simple, wait about a quarter to a half a second and then hold your analog stick forward and jump at the same time so you can get that front flip flick. And a really important tip to get more height and power on the flick is Okay, this is going to be really hard to explain, but when you think of doing a delayed flick, you think of just that quarter to half a second of delay before using your dodge. Yes, you do do that. I really just said doo-doo, didn't I? You do delay the amount of time in between using your first jump and then using your dodge, but the thing that really gets you that extra power is delaying the motion of using your left analog stick and jumping, if that makes any sense. So the way I like to think of it is when you're doing that second dodge, just think of doing it everything in slow motion. So instead of rapidly dodging, you want to kind of slowly move your left stick forward and hold your jump button down. That's just a little thing I figured out on the way to get better delayed flicks. I don't know if that made any sense at all. So if you're having trouble with getting the ball to stick to your car, just keep practicing. Once you get one really good one, just keep trying to replicate how you did that one. So once you get the concept of the ball sticking to your car and getting the delayed flick down, that's when you can move on to learning other advanced flicks, like the 45 degree, 90 degree, and 180 degree flicks, because obviously for those you need the ball to stay close to your car before doing the flick for a good amount of time. I tried to explain what I wanted to the best I could, and if you have any questions, comment them down below. And that's about it for the video. So if you enjoyed it or helped you out in any way, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new and want to see more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.